Good morning, everybody. This is Dan Fagerio with the JRP Group, and we welcome you to this episode of Contracts and Disclosures. You know, today we're going to go over a form that I think sometimes it gets misconstrued as to what it's supposed to be able to do, and it's the ASA form. It's the Additional Signature Addendum, and the main point is to look at on at the top of the page. It says this form is not an assignment. It should not be used to add new parties after a contract has been formed. So we do see from our transaction coordinator sometimes that if there's an additional buyer that's going to be added in, we end up seeing these things. And this clearly points out from CAR that the ASA form, the additional signature addendum is not used as an assignment. It should not be used to add new parties after a contract has been formed. So what is this form exactly for? This document is used when there are not enough signature blocks for all the parties to sign on another document, such as a purchase agreement, a disclosure, a counter offer, or a lease. For example, most purchasing agreement and disclosure forms contain signature blocks for two principals on either side of the transaction. Oftentimes, more than the two persons will already be on title or intend to acquire the property for sale. In such a case, this form will be helpful because unless a power of attorney is being used, all parties need to sign to create a binding agreement. So what you have is you have the additional signatories. Is this going to be a residential purchase contract or a residential leasing agreement? The definitions paragraph in the CAR contracts permits the contracts to be signed in counterpart. Basically, they're talking about is all the signatures do not have to appear on the same physical piece of paper. So as we go forward, we'll put in the property address. We're going to put in the parties as far as are they the buyer, the seller, the landlord, the tenant, or other. And then they'll have party first and then party second. And what's very interesting about this form is you'll find that right after each signature block, on the ASA form, there are optional initial blocks to demonstrate whether the person who signs and also agrees or does not agree to certain or different paragraphs in the underlying document. These paragraphs concern arbitration of disputes and liquidated damages. Agreement to one does not result in agreement of the other. California law requires arbitration clauses in real estate contracts to be separately signed or initial in order to be binding. Similarly, California law requires liquidated damages clause in real estate contracts to be separately signed or initialed. So again, we start, we have our additional signatures. We are not adding new parties to the contract. And then after each signature block, you can actually initial here as to whether or not they have a dispute regarding arbitration or they have a dispute regarding liquidated damages. If there's multiple signers, then we have one, two, three, four additional signature areas. And that takes care of the form ASA. So we appreciate you tuning into this episode. If you have any questions within your own management firm, contact your broker or the attorney. We'll see you soon. Thank you.